the NBI, National Nile Basin Initiative, as you have followed today, has had a, a day to celebrate the, the initiative. This initiative was established in 1999. We are happy that today I was hosting the Nile Basin Minister from the Nile Basin countries. Uh, the list is wrong because we have uh, South Sudan, we have Sudan, we have Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, DRC, Rwanda, uh, all these countries, Ethiopia and Egypt, who are here today for purposes of celebrations. In the afternoon, we shall do the Council of Ministers a meeting to decide on the next agenda that is supposed then to bring the heads of state of the Nile Basin initial countries together for further moving the agenda forward. Uh, so we are celebrating the existence and the continued cooperation that uh, the countries have experienced, the support that they have received from the partners like World Bank who have uh, been part and parcel of the projects that we have done. The idea of the Nile Basin Initiative is because we obviously have uh, transpounded uh, water bodies that are shared. The Lake Victoria is shared, the Nile River is shared, and all those other rivers that uh, join the Nile, these are shared. <coughs> and of course the water catchment areas. They are key resources for the basin, and unless we encourage and deepen uh, cooperation, working together, then we are likely to enter into conflict, especially these uh, celebrations coming around this time when drought has been such a challenge. I think it's a good thing to remind ourselves that we need to cooperate, we need to reduce areas of conflict, and we need to address solutions and come up with solutions where likelihood of conflict is foreseen. And therefore, you, you, we have projects that have also been developed, designed and developed to occupy or to be shared by Uganda and Tanzania, uh, Tanzania, and Kenya, Uganda and Kenya, and other countries so that they are like cross boundary and I mean country boundaries uh, projects. And you know, within those areas where you are working in a project or on a project that you share with countries, you are, you are of course, automatically going to come together, develop the designs, the concepts, the ideas together, and then agree on how to share that resource for the benefit of the communities that you represent or that occupy the Nile Basin. And therefore, we would say we have had a success today. We are looking at, uh, looking, uh, looking ahead, we are looking at uh, Angororo as one of the big projects that will benefit Kenya and Uganda. We have trans uh, interconnecting uh, uh, infrastructure projects also. We have water resource management projects in Kisumu and Uganda. Uh, this, this project we fundraise the monies together. But to run the initiative, uh, the office, the Nile Basin Initiative, the countries have to make some small contributions towards the secretariat activities and activities like the ones that we have had today. Our chief guest was uh, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, Kusaria Weekly, Kusaria Mdavadi, on behalf of the Head of State. You know how also the Head of State today is caught up in various other activities, including this afternoon's activity. I would say that uh, with my office, we being the host as the Ministry uh, and the Executive Director of the Nile Basin Initiative, we are very, very delighted to have this succeed or move on well as their plan. Okay, well, see the, uh, okay. You can't say we are not using the waters because the, the projects have talked about are actually within the basin. Those are three projects. Three, three mega projects costing between, uh, I think the minimum is uh, going about six billion US dollars. So they are big projects. So I would first say that yes, we are utilizing 
the waters, but we want the waters to be shared in a more uh, cooperative way, in a, an equitable way, without any partner feeling like uh, there is an entitlement. It is true there is a 1929 agreement, but we refuse to dwell on the uh, challenges of the past and look uh, forward to successes of the future, current and the future. The 1929 agreement is under review. I'm sure you have uh, familiarized yourself with some of the articles of that agreement that kind of faced Egypt in a, maybe a more uh, advantageous position. Maybe that was then, but uh, all the countries now know it differently. We are in the process of, of working on how that agreement can be reviewed so that we come up with a different uh, framework uh, uh, of agreement. And uh, some of the countries, in fact, have already uh, approved and uh, adopted the, the new framework. Uh, Kenya is in the process I, and I do not see any challenge. We, we should be able to reach there. And that will be a new maybe beginning for all the countries in the region. All the countries signing the new agreement for the Even if uh, there, there is a certain number, even if all countries don't, we look forward and we believe we should work towards every country that is affected, that is involved, uh, is able to sign the agreement. Because as long as the agreement uh, is minded, is drawn in terms that are acceptable by the member states, and that the member states have taken keen interest in uh, participating, then obviously uh, we would expect that all of us will be able to reach a solution where you are able to sign. And of course we must be able to understand those may, who may move a bit slowly, others joined later, the now based and later, so they need more time. There are, are slow steps somehow, because you see there are national agreements first, and then you have to also discuss with your country counterparts as well. So, but we will be there. Yeah. And you need to at least six countries to sign. So how do you Maybe you are going somewhere. We have six uh, to sign. Once, once, once six sign, uh, Kenya being one of the six, then the agreement will be uh, in force. Thank you very much.